Once upon a time, there was a wonderful river which made the people happy. All you had to do was go there and drink to feel a divine wave spreading through your soul. But very few people knew the road that led to this well of life. So for those who had access to it, were naturally thrilled to possess such a privilege. Nevertheless, the happiest among them wished that everyone had reached the stratosphere of that spiritual bliss. Unlike those who limited themselves to their own little star, bright and warm in the icy universe of the ordinary world, these few beneficent persons believed in the kingdom of eternal communion among all beings. Now, the one responsibility that every mortal being takes on is the unfortunate one that defines it as such. That is, each body, from the biggest to the smallest, from the most important to the least important, from the most famous to the most unknown, is discreet enough and humble enough to one day stop shining. And so the state of joy that came from drinking that water would have been without end if not for the necessity of fulfilling this task. Now, one day, one of the inhabitants of the world of Felicity, that's the name they were known by, had the idea of diverting the current of the fragile well to keep it from running into the river where the happy drinkers slaked their first. He made all the water run into his own property and stocked up on it, keeping everyone else from enjoying this happiness as they once had. He thought that keeping all this water to himself would bring him more joy than it would have if he had to share it, even though only with a few. And so the others left this world without ever experiencing again the happy journey. And he too eventually died. No one knows the end of the story since no one has a passport to the afterlife. But one thing is certain, namely, that that man was happier than anyone had ever been to the end of his sojourn on earth. Now, if your penchant for the good requires a fair reading for this story, you have only to take up your responsibility. Die.